Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with that one bitch who does the EAS the index stuff. <laughs> oh. You oh, motherfucker. Oh. You motherfucker. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Ari. You suck. <laughs> Next. Oh my god. Chaos box. And it's going 25. The OG, Narcal dude, 599. Thunderbuddy01, who just posted a funny in the chat right now. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. And. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! Richard! Um, uh, are you trying to steal Dick Richard? Are you stick with I'm your long brother? lost brother! Oh god, no! <laughs> he had a second! <laughs> oh god, oh, he had a son! <laughs> <laughs> Big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the message that make my sons. Big Ditchard. Anyways, guys. Oh, good Big lord. Big Ditchard. Anyways, guys. <clears throat> Let's get right to it, shall we? <laughs> Who wants some more devious <laughs>, laughs? Who wants some more devious laughs to remember, huh? Yes. Can you see my okay. camera okay? It's frozen. Oh uh, yes, I love I, I love seeing the big purple square. The big purple square? <laughs> what? Hang on, let me adjust my lighting a little bit. Alright, is this better? See, it's just... Hold on, it's low D. There we go. It's Hang on. There we, there we go. go. Now I see it. Hang on. Why the hell why the fuck are we in India? There we go. All right, I switched it to the U.S. We switched, East. Uh, we switched regions. Yeah, we, for some reason we were in think. fucking India. <laughs> what? India? Yeah. Oh. India? Anyways, guys, there's something that all of you don't know, but me and Ari do. We know what radio is going to be reviewed, but you guys are about to find out. You are about to find out. Because in this episode, I'm just going to read it off of the box. Imagine a radio that will warn you of dangerous weather emergencies 24 hours a day, even when the radio is off or the AC power is out. The Emerson Research CKW 3000! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait. <laughs> Drew! Drew! Nicholas! Drew, why? Where is everybody else? Michael was I'm positive. Michael was I'm positive. Jesus Michael Christ! Was, I'm <laughs> Anyways, um. Michael White. Yeah. Poster. Yeah. Unfortunately, we gotta fucking review a radio that's older and uglier than the fucking CKW 2000, which came out 10 years after, I think. No, 7 years after. 
because this piece of crap was made in 1999. That's why it says Y2K prepared on the box. Year 2000 prepared. Y2K. Y2K, my ass. Y2K, my nutsack. Stop. Y2K, my ass. Anyways, um, yeah. The Emerson Research CKW 3000 is basically an AM, FM, WB calendar clock radio, as it says on the upper left corner of the screen. It is the fucking, and I don't, I and, out that you spelled my name wrong. Who? <laughs> And, 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 and I, 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 I don't give I don't give two fucking shits if Ari has a fetish over liking this radio. I fucking hate it. It is a piece of garbage. Uh, Michael, you see, it, it makes cool beeper tone and it, uh, <laughs> it, it has cool display and it, uh, it also had the battery on the back, which is very uh, yeah. located. Yeah, yeah uh, Ari, you see, it's a piece of shit. And we're gonna get to that now because yeah, this this big ass brick is so ugly looking. It's just, but you can't judge a book by its cover, right? We're gonna get into the features of this radio. Yeah, you can't you can't you can't judge it by its cover, Michael. Because if you do, and if you keep calling that poor radio a piece of crap, you know what I have to do? Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking dare! You son of a bitch. Ha, joke's on you. Joke's on you. My fucking frequency is not on channel 7. It's on channel 6, bitch. Why did you tell her that? Because she can't even activate it from here. Giovanni had ass. Anyways, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get into the first feature on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. This fucking television looking head ass brick. And that would be the siren test. All right, the siren test on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. Yeah, so much for being 3000. Yeah, 3000 my yeah, ass. PSA, a PSA to Emerson Research. Don't you think it would make more sense to make uh, newer models? Really, Ari? Really, Ari? Really? Really, Ari? Really? <laughs> this is why Frank calls you unfunny. Oh, yikes. Uh, Silence. Servers open. Silence. Okay. EAS details channel. Hey, you... Oh, farting. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, back to the siren test. And yeah, props to what Ari just said. Because so much for being a 3000 when the 2000 came out seven years later and had more features than this thing. Because, think about it, the 2000 was already featured in Season 4. It had a calendar on it. Granted, not like this, but it had a calendar. It showed the date. It showed the time. It had AM, FM. It had weather band, except it had same technology and not just 1050 hertz like the 3000 has. Instead of a 9-volt battery and two AAAs for backup, yeah, I'm not kidding. This fucking radio has a 9-volt and two AAA batteries for fucking backup. If I take this fucking 9-volt out and show you... Ask Emerson. Ask Emerson. The 9-volt is for the backup on the clock, and then the actual two batteries are for... I may it's the other way around. I forget. But one of the batteries is... One of the set of batteries is for the backup clock, and the other one is for the actual radio. The 9 volt is the one for the actual radio, and the one for the clock is the triple A's. That's yeah, why. Yeah. This piece of shit is so fucking massive, they actually have two different types of batteries just to make the fucking thing power on and barely work if it does at all. So yeah, that's a good start with that's a good start for Emerson already. Hey, don't you agree? But yeah. Instead of having a 9-volt battery and two AAA batteries for backup, it had four double A's instead. More convenient. We not a fucking 9-volt. But anyways, yeah. Why yeah. Why did they even call this the 3000 if this is going to be older than the 2000? Shouldn't this be the 2000? Somebody from the company was smoking some serious methamphetamine. Well, then again, then again, then a fucking again. Emerson shipped these fucking radios with this 
mailing slip. And where are they from? Denver, Colorado. Yeah, weed is legal in Colorado. Everything's fucking legal in Colorado anyway. So yeah, that fucking explains everything, doesn't it? Anyways. But, uh, yeah, well, we're already getting into the flaws. This is supposed to be sirens. So we should call it the alert test because three different alert test mode or alert modes on this radio. Mm hmm. I'm going to let you explain to me because I have no fucking clue how to use this shit. But the only thing I know how to use is the fucking siren test. So in order, in order to engage the siren, you have to make this little switch on the side go to AL, which is alarm, I assume. And then you pressed, you press test on. And that's it. It's like alert ready on crack. <laughs> that's the siren on it. That's um, the siren. So yeah, that's the second available well, that's the primary tone that you would use if you are using this as a mainstream radio, which, by the way, don't. It's a very crappy radio. But, um... Thank you! On the side with the same switch where Michael flipped in order to get to AL, above it is the option LT. And LT, as, uh, if you flip it up right now, whenever you go to press test, um... This is how it'll react whenever it receives the 1050 hertz tone. It will just start blinking the, uh, the light. That's, that's all that function does. That, that LT mode is the light mode, so it just makes the light blink every time it receives the 1050 hertz. Then, of course, to, you know, turn this off, you press the weather band button and then press test off again. And then the final mode, the final alert mode on the side, is the WB option, which is the weather band. So now, every time it receives a 1050 hertz tone, it will go immediately to the weather band, as Michael will demonstrate. Just like that. Yep. And also blink the light to know that it's been activated. Yeah. Um, hey, Chief, it's been activated for something. I don't know what. Because, yeah, this fucker doesn't have same. Yeah. If this was Y2K ready, why the hell doesn't it have same technology? Why the fuck not? When so many other radios from this time period, like the 74210 and the 74200, as well as some fucking Radio Shack radios like the 12-254 and 255, why the fuck, as well as the 249 and the 250, why the fuck didn't Emerson implement same into this brick of shit? Why? Well, that's because that as they were still manufacturing 1050 hertz on radios um also because that not only is this targeted towards the general public for receiving alerts but it's also targeted towards the the public emergency management or the county the local county or businesses in the county so that they will be act the radio will activate and they can hear alerts for the entire region so that they can stay aware so this is more targeted for stuff like schools, uh, local businesses, and stuff that want to keep updated with uh, radio. And, and, and that's that thing that 1050 hertz videos are still helpful for nowadays. Uh, just the general public, uh, or like, you know, the business stuff that want to be aware of what's going on around, so that they can be prepared to shut down or do whatever they need oh. to take precautionary actions. Yeah, that's about it. That's why some radios from Eton, like the FRX2, and the ER210, as well as the 310 and the FRX threes still activate using 1050 hertz Ooh, and not to mention the, the new er 10 vp that midland is going to be releasing sometime later this month yeah the er 10 vp yep yeah. uh, the er overpriced vp <laughs> right yeah what i want to know is this 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 is literally creepy i don't know why but this this is creepy this radio but <laughs> It's creepy. But listen to this caption. I already said it at the beginning of the video. If you look at the box, imagine a radio that will warn you of dangerous weather emergencies 24 hours a day, even when the radio is off or the AC power is out. How the fuck is that possible? Well, obviously, well, AC power is out. Obviously, that means with the batteries, obviously. Yeah. 
that's what it's indicating. It's talking about the battery, but the way they worded it, it does definitely sound creepy. Imagine the radio oh, being nice. off and all of a sudden. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah. You should demonstrate that. Like holding it down? The test on button? Yeah. If you hear it, because you know how it, it, whenever it gets to the low tone, it starts that weird chirping and stuff. Uh, I told you the other day that if you hold down the test on button when it's going off, it stays steady, uh, in, well, except for one tone, which not to demonstrate that. Okay, I will demonstrate that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Chris, so have you researched... What has the this... The internal oh, God. radio, it's just, it's, it's just really... The radio in general is very buggy. Especially considering... Uh, well, I'll, I'll save this. I'll, I'll touch it briefly since I know there's going to be like a flaw section for this review. But one of the major flaws is the button. <laughs> and the buttons, uh, as you know, Mersin is really good about button contacts failing. Did you say immersive? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Why don't we just go ahead? Why don't we just go ahead and take a look at the buttons on the fucking Emerson Research CKW 3000? Okay, the buttons. The buttons. Yes, Nicholas, you go first. All right. I was going to say, uh, I actually, now that, now that I already met buttons, I remember. Around a year ago, when uh, Ari was texting me about her ZKW 2000 that she got, I remember she was telling me how she was pressing every single button to get the radio to interact, and she and she wasn't having any luck. Yeah, I think it was simple. It was really funny oh. too, because the same because I had the radio for about a week and it literally didn't do anything. I, I would spam the buttons and nothing happened. Literally nothing would work. It was powered on everything. It, the button contacts were just not working at all. Then Michael posts his freaking radio reviews on CKU 2000. And then I, I pull it out out of curiosity, plug it up, press the weather slash news button, and then immediately realize the LCD backlight fires up. And I go, wait a fucking minute. Then I push the buttons. And I push them down hard. All of a sudden it works now. What the fuck? Imagine. I remember texting Michael about this too, and he it was like, "What in the world?" Yeah, but um, yeah, the buttons on the three thousand. I'm not sure if that's the same thing in terms of miracles, because this thing. It is. It is. How would you know? Has it happened on the three thousand too? Yes. It has. The three thousand. Um, it's the one I have was from my grandpa. And uh, it was just lying around inside of one of her drawers, and I was like, "Nick, oh, what did you do?" What I, took, what I did was, um, I was trying to test it because a lot of the buttons were working. But at the same time, like the only buttons that were really working were the weather band button and the uh, the clock buttons, and all the other buttons wouldn't do anything. I remember this when I was first getting in the radio, so I was like scared to press the test on button. <clears throat> but when I did, nothing happened. It like I and I even tried pressing the uh, FM button at the top, the power button, and nothing happened. And then eventually, I take it home about a week about a week later. I freaking I'm just spamming the button out of curiosity, and all of a sudden the button contact starts to work again. So, uh, in conclusion, Emerson's uh, button contacts just die, and it's a really really crappy. You fact. My shot, Nicholas. Oh, also, also I should say that this is Mitchell's replacement CKW3000. His other one died completely. So, 
like with all of his other radios, I'm literally treating this as delicately as possible because it's still working for the time being somehow. Oh, and yeah, it just... He says I'm treating it delicately as possible, yet he calls it a piece of shit. It is a piece of garbage because, yeah, because his last one died. Yours didn't even fucking work when you first powered it on and it somehow resurrected itself. So this one, I'm worried about this thing. I have no idea if it's going to die during the review or whatever, but I'm hoping it doesn't. They, tip they typically don't die. And that's the thing about Emerson radios. They're not... The thing is, is they die, they decay over uh, periods of not being used. But when they are new, they're fine. Like, like, I'm sure you can press all the buttons and stuff and it'll work fine. But if you just let it sit there unpowered for ages, the button contacts will deteriorate all the electrical contacts. Us up. So, uh, they are definitely radios that you have to be pretty careful with if you, you know, uh, especially if you don't leave them happen, which is why I, I read on it as possible. Oh, also, why the hell are these buttons aligned this way? I hate it. The way they are just angled like that, that just makes them more liable to breaking. Because, look at this. I'm literally putting light pressure lifting up the buttons literally light pressure that's what she said too but look i'm lifting up one of the buttons and it looks like it's about to break these things are liable to breaking they just are but why are they aligned like this not to mention the way it's designed it just conflicts with anything else inside and it just ugh. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe the design. It's just terrible. I don't like it. I don't like it in terms of the buttons. But, oh my God, we still have like a lot more features to cover on this brick. It's literally a brick. We're already, we're already beat crap out of it in terms of rating. Yeah. Good. Why don't we get to the display? which has the calendar, the date, the clock, and everything. Why don't we set that up correctly before Nicholas fucking kills me for having this radio set at 10.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 1st of 1997? Yeah, please do correctly. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we get into the display? Nicholas's OCD about time. Wow, no, a fucking, wow. Do not do it. Wow, a good this feature? This video, do not do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to do it because of the feature, but wow, a good feature on the fucking CKW3000 for once? Okay, yeah. In all seriousness, yeah. We are going to set up the calendar. We are going to set up the calendar and the clock. Ari, I kind of need your help, because I didn't bother to read the fucking manual because I didn't have an, enough time. So, um, help me out here, Brilliant. Yeah. Silent crickets ensue. Anyway, Ari, are you there? Miss Olive Branch had ass, are you there? Derby oh. fire alarms, are you there? Working. Earth to Miss Cratchit, are you there? She's fapping to her easy cast. Again, are you done? See, that's not for Yes. And I'll be right back. My uh, back is broken. But your back um, what? My back teeth. Then that means I can take a piss. Oh. I think he tried to get busted. Uh... But yeah, well, where the fuck? Where's Ari? She was just here a minute ago. <laughs> Maybe she used the bathroom? I have no clue. Oh, I got... Ow. I got... Wait, what is this? Ow. I have no idea what this is, but yeah. We are going to wait and see yeah. if Ari Crystal comes back. Here. Who knows? I think he's still here. God, where's everybody going? To hell and back, probably. Probably, yeah. Oh, I'm still here. So, yeah. Anyways, 
We're gonna wait for Ari to return. In the meantime, stay tuned. Okay, so Ari has returned, and now she's gonna help me set up the display before Nicholas fucking obliterates me. So, yeah. Breaking soul, but not set up the time. All right, how do you do it, Ari? Um, well, I believe you start, if mine would work. Uh, I think you have to press like set or something. Yeah, hold on, give me, so. Uh-huh, I figured it out, okay, to start, what you need to do is you gotta press display mode once. Just press it once, and then the time will begin to flash. Yep. Now press the set button until the uh, the hour starts to flash. Okay, there it is. Then, oh. after you set the hour, press the set button again, and it'll start to put the, uh, the minutes. Done. Okay, um, then, hold on, man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, man, big dog, yes, it always is. Uh, so then what you're going to do is uh, go press display mode again. And press it until the, uh... Wait, I think I got it date. already. Yeah, the date and stuff start, uh, flashing. Oh, yeah, the calendar's moving and shit. Huh, <laughs> I forgot it was 2021. <laughs> Nicholas, I swear. <laughs> The down button is already giving me trouble. Well. Plus, you can also set the display from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and it actually has its own indoor thermometer, too. So it, it's reading 73 degrees in here. So yeah, as you can clearly see, it shows the calendar on the bottom, and it is January 1st, 2021, as we are filming this at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now it's 11.11 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the thermometer. Also, thanks for the help, by the way, Ari. But uh, yeah. So, you can I'll see. Just, I have to admit, the calendar is like a huge crop, and that, that's a huge... Uh, this is a huge, like, you know, actual, yeah. the, uh, the, the CKW3000, because not a lot of radios actually have a calendar display. There is one problem. It doesn't display the weekdays. It doesn't display the days on the calendar, just the numbers. It yeah, it shows the number, but the numbers are in the order of the days. So you kind of have to like memorize it by heart to figure out what day of the week it is. Right now, today is Friday. Party day. It's Friday, Friday. Can you fucking not with Rebecca Blackhead ass? Because you came. Because you came. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. First of all, I'll sing it off. Even of all. YouTube's copyright system is not that small. <laughs> In before now. Oh god. But yeah, that is basically the display. No. Among us G. Oh god. No, I was gonna say Nicholas demonetized. Oh. That was perfect time. Anyways, okay. but yeah, you can also set the alarms, I think. I think this radio has like two separate alarms, or just one, actually. Does it have one or two alarms? Uh, 
I, 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 I think, if I'm not mistaken, it only has one arm. Just one, bruh. They could have added two, but it's okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while, but uh, the alarm actually has a few different options. You, um, at the top, you can see you can choose between radio, buzzer, and then just off. You mean buzzer off? No. Oh, uh, wait. No, 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 no. I see what you mean. Yeah. Buzzer and then off. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Okay. So, yeah, the alarm has three different options. You can choose it with the buzzer or just off completely, or it just cuts straight to either weather radio or AM, FM broadcast. I think it's AM, FM. Uh-huh, yeah. There's FM and AM, whatever you have set. So it's basically like the WR-300, then. Um... Because that, that has an option on the alarm where you can literally make it cut straight to the FM broadcast. Or AM broadcast. Well, I don't own any more WR-300s, <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Well, I do, because I have three of them! Oh. Blasting four. Yo, oh, shut up, you Mr. 80 weather radio. Show off. Actually, that's, 80, that's actually Mr. 82 weather radios, thank you. Show off! 82 radio sub. Okay, yeah. So, while my... Three WR300s. What I had and what I already had that Michael doesn't is the R102 FMO. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna That's review the, that soon. The R102. I'm gonna review that soon. Yes. Summer 2021. <coughs> I mean, what? <laughs> or sooner if conditions Spoiler warrant. Alert. Or sooner if conditions warrant. Did you have to make that reference? What are you, an NWS text product? Probably. Yes. But anyways, um, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and get into the next feature, which actually has nothing to do with the radio itself. But it actually has something to do with one of the paper slips that come with the radio. And that is the NOAA Weather Radio Network chart. Ah, uh, yes. The wonders of past technology printed on paper the NOAA weather radio network guide from 1999 from the emerson research wow. ckw 3000 this thing I actually have it, so I'm, I'm curious to see what this is because i never got any papers or anything with mine mine came with two well this is not mine this is mitchell's but mitchell's has two of these papers it also came with the returning slip in case you had a defective unit. Which is pretty nice. Looks like it's never been used. But yeah, this radio came with that. It also came with the quick setup guide, which is basically like a little, a big price tag that is folded into three. And trying to unfold it with one hand is complicated. But yeah, there you go. It's like a giant price tag folded into three parts. And that's pretty cool. And then you have the actual manual itself. But this is probably the most interesting portion of the accessories that you get with this radio. And it is the NOAA Weather Radio Network chart. So I'm going to read what it says right here on the left corner. NOAA Weather Radio Network. <coughs> NOAA Weather Radio. Important note, the corresponding channel numbers, one through seven listed at right, at right, yes, correspond to the numbers on your radio's WBCH selector switch. Set the channel selector switch to the number of the city of which is closest to where you live. In some instances, the National Weather Service transmitter closest to you may actually be located at a different state. For example, residents of northern New Jersey will get better reception from the station located in New York City on channel 7, quote 35, than from the station selected in hey. yeah, in Atlantic City, New Jersey on channel 1, KHB 38. 
If you do not get satis if you do not get satisfactory reception with the band selector position indicated for your area, check the station list again and set the band selector for another nearby transmission station. Also remember that the pigtail type weather band antenna on the back of the radio must be fully unwound and extended for the best reception. So yeah, as you can clearly see here on the bottom left corner, it shows the transmitting frequencies of NWS transmitters. Channel 1, 162.400. And hello, Katie. You just walked into a radio reviews episode with a bunch of us here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Not, not freaking time Discord lets me on. But anyways, as I was saying, you can see the channels on the bottom left corner right here. Channel 1, 162.400 megahertz. Channel 2, 162.425 megahertz. Channel 3, 162.450 megahertz. Channel 4, 162.475 megahertz. Channel 5, 162.500 megahertz. Channel 6, 162.525 megahertz. And finally, channel 7 and 162.550 megahertz. And then on the right is literally every single transmitter located in each state at the time this radio was manufactured in 1999. Find WXK-49, find WXK-49. All right, and rip Katie. All right, well, WXK-49 is in Tennessee. So let's see, where's Tennessee? Can you hear it, Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, there it is. Uh, it only shows the transmitter number, like the channel number, and the city it's located. It doesn't show the call signs, unfortunately. Damn. Yeah. But, yep, there it is. It shows Memphis right there, Channel 4, right above Nashville on Channel 7. Let's see all the transmitters. Let's see all the transmitter stations in Tennessee. You got Bristol, WSK-47. You got, you got Chattanooga. You got, yep, there's Memphis. Anyways, um... You got Bristol, which is the starting transmitter, and it is on channel 7. That's WXK47, obviously. You have Chattanooga on channel 7, Cookville on channel 1, Jackson on channel 7, Knoxville on channel 4, Lawrenceburg on channel 2, Memphis on channel 4, Nashville on channel 7, Shelbyville on channel 4, and Waverly on channel 1. Those are all the Tennessee stations that were there at the time. Now let's check... Mississippi. We got the Ackerman transmitter on channel four, Boonville on channel seven, Bude on channel seven, Columbia on channel one, Gulfport on channel one, Hattiesburg on channel four, Iverness on channel seven, Jackson on channel one, Kosciuszko on channel two, Meridian on channel seven, Oxford on channel one, and Parchman on channel five. Now let's take a look at Illinois, since that's where this radio came from. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, yeah, this is Mitchell's radio. He lives in Illinois. So, yeah, let's check out Illinois. What? Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, there's a fucking butchering. There's a butchering in this paper. There's a butchering right here. They fucking say? They fucking butchered Illinois. Do you see? I'm how they thought. How they thought. They took out the first I and just left Illinois. Ah uh, yes. Twenty go to Chicago, Illinois. Yes, I love Chicago, Illinois. Oh my God! I can't Chicago believe. Illinois. I can't believe. Illinois. I can't believe that's actually on there. Fuck! That's actually on there. Wait, wait a minute. Is that just a typo or on this paper or did they correct it in the second paper? What? No, fuck, it's actually on both papers. Fuck, it's actually on there. It's a fuck. They butchered it on every paper that came with this thing. Good job, good job, Radio Majors. You're oh my God, Emerson. Okay, let's, 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 let's take a look here. Okay. We got Champaign on Channel 7, Chicago on Channel 7, Marion on Channel 2, Peoria on Channel 4, Rock Island Moline on Channel 7, Rockford on Channel 4, Springfield on Channel 1. That's it. Really? Wait, that's, wow. They just, they just lived out. I guess Live Channel was never invented during that time. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Drew, it's Cedar Rapids. 
Yeet. But yeah, this radio has a chart that comes with it. If you get a brand new from the box, of course, that goes from Alaska. There's Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona. There's California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Guam, Hawaii, all right, Iowa, Hawaii. Idaho, Illinois. Yeah, Illinois, you fuckers. Illinois. Indiana. Fort Wayne. There's the Fort Wayne transmitter. Kansas. Oh my god, they butchered Kansas. Do they do that? They butchered Kansas as Kansas. That's hey, uh, that's that's hey, K gaming Falcon, that's for you. <laughs> yeah, but he's but he's but he's a libtard, so but that's 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 K A N A S A S. Kansas. Really, Emerson? Yeah. That's two butcherings now. Are you fucking serious? I think they were high making this turn. Then again, Mox, you gotta remember, they were located in Colorado. I have no idea. But yeah, Canassus. But yeah, you had all the Kentucky stations. There's Louisville. Um, Louisiana. Massachusetts, I mean Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota. And on the other side, you got all the other states. You got Missouri, Bourbon, six, Camdenton, seven, Columbia, one, Hannibal, four, Hannibal Lecter, four, <laughs> Hermitage, three, Joplin, channel two, Kansas City, channel seven, Sykeston, channel one. Syke, that's the wrong number. Anyways, Springfield on channel Michael, one. Michael, you, mispr you, mis you mispronounced something. You, you didn't. You didn't pronounce Herma Cringe right. Oh yeah, thank you for. But uh, thank you for. Thank you for letting me know. Um, um, Springfield on channel one. Saint Joseph on channel one. Saint Louis on channel one. And Summersville on channel four. Huh. What the Dude. fuck is this? What, what happened now? Saipan. And Mariana's Islands. Maybe they got it right. I don't even yeah. fucking know. Uh, I'll have to look it up later. <laughs> uh, let's see North Carolina. Oh my god. WXL 56. Baden on channel 2. Baden had a fucking transmitter. Wait, huh? Baden had a fucking transmitter. On channel 2. Mom, show me that. That's literally in fucking Montgomery County. God. It was Cape Hatteras on Channel 4. Charlotte on Channel 4. WXL 70. Fayetteville on Channel 4. Lumber Bridge, which is actually a dead transmitter, on Channel 6. Margaretsville on Channel 3. New Bern on Channel 1. Raleigh-Durham on Channel 7. Rocky Mount on Channel 4. WXL 58. Wilmington on channel 7 and Winston-Salem on channel 1 WXL 42 which is still off the fucking air by the way When is Wally gonna fucking fix that? I had no idea Um, let's see what else we got Um Bruh Do you know why Winston-Salem's off the air? I don't even know But bruh, 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 bruh Nicholas What? Guess how many transmitters New Jersey has? Or had? Let me guess, just one? One. Let me guess, just one? One. One. Atlantic City? Yep. Figures. Is it still like that? Because I'd imagine they add more transmitters to it. Oh, yeah, the, uh... In New Jersey, they got the, uh... Hamburg Mountain, and they got the uh, Howell Township transmitter now. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. New York. Oh my God! What? They fucking had the nerve to butcher the capital of New York. What was it spelled? They butchered Albany as. 
El Baney. God damn it, Ari. Wow. No, they, they, they forgot the A. They forgot the A. It's just Albany. That is the most... That's humiliating. Because, Al because Albany took the L. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, let's check Ohio. You got KDO94 in Akron, Channel 1. Bridgeport Channel 6. Cleveland Channel 7. Columbus Channel 7. Dayton Channel 7. WSJ46. AJ's transmitter and Katie's transmitter are on there, Akron. Um, High Hill, Channel 4, Lima, Channel 1, Sandusky, Channel 1, and Toledo, Channel 7. As you can see, this list goes on and on and on. South Carolina, you got Beaufort yeah, on Channel... Whoa, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wow. Okay. So, at some point, WXJ23 in Beaufort was on Channel 4 and not Channel 3 oh. like it is now. So, they, they switched frequencies at some point. The, the Ohio heat is back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there she is. <laughs> 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 so, WWE existence back then? Apparently so, because it's not on there. Oh no. I wonder, what was I wonder what was channel five. <laughs> SPC Hermitage in a nutshell. <laughs> oh, hold on, just wait for the message to go. Yeah. I already recorded it. <laughs> no, wait, OG, hey God, eat me, Hermit the Fog Cringe. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, let's check, um, yep, there's Utah, Virginia, Virgin Islands, Vermont, Washington, Wisconsin, West Virginia, and Wyoming. That's basically it. But yeah, this, this chart is honestly, it's inaccurate now to some degree, but honestly, it's pretty damn cool to see one of these still intact, you know, because this is like from the 1990s, and yet here it is, still active. This is pretty Ooh. damn cool. It's pretty cool, not going to lie. I don't know why Mitchell's came with two of these things, but as inaccurate as it may be, at least in modern standards, it's pretty damn cool. Just to see the history that unfolded. Anyways, why don't we get into the next feature, finally. So, as we go over here, and, um, where is it, where is it, there it is, okay. Why don't we go into the next feature on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. Now, it did mention some point, in the manual, actually, no. On the uh, NOAA weather radio chart that it has a pigtail type antenna. What does that mean? The antenna is literally a long, black, thin wire with a tail at the end. I guess that's why they call it the pigtail antenna. So yeah, why don't we discuss the antenna on this thing? Okay, the antenna on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. It's actually not that bad considering how much of a reception helper it is, I guess, because my red brick stereo has the same exact antenna just without the pigtail at the end. But this one is literally longer than that and it actually hopefully picks up stations pretty well. It was all wound it up and... Uh, stuff when I first opened it, obviously, but yeah. Why don't we go ahead and test it out with NOAA Weather Radio? Also, um, Ari. Hmm. How do you change the channels? Oh, simple. Oh, yeah. Um, it's on the side. 
but yeah. On the left side, in order to change null weather radio channel, you're gonna change it to the only number. That's it. <laughs> okay. So, oink oink, bitch. Yes, yes. Pigtail antenna. <laughs> Emerson called it that, not me. Probably because I'm next to my damn computer. I'm gonna go over to the radios. What the hell? cannot pick up channel six. No, it's just dead silence. It's just like my fucking 74210 over here. Are you shitting me, man? That is... This fucking thing doesn't even pick it up. This thing can't even pick it up. Guys, this this thing it can't, Guys, it can't even it can't even pick it up. It can't even pick shit up. Let's try it on FM. Let's try FM. That's for the reception. Yeah, copyrighted bullshit. Thanks, Emerson, for fucking making me switch to that resort. is actually pretty shitty. Wow. I should have known. So yeah, I instantly retract what I said about the antenna. It is bad. Moving on, why don't we demonstrate the speaker quality? Okay, the speaker quality on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. We're gonna try it on FM again. To the Ohio State 49 yard line, they're gonna mark it at the 50. Looks like there's a football game going on. Shotgun stack. Here goes five. The run, and they back the ball down 
at the line of scrimmage incomplete. So the speaker quality is actually not that bad. It's fairly decent, honestly. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the worst part. The fucking reception. Okay, the reception on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. This monstrosity... This monstrosity is definitely... Shish. It was... Yeah. Anyways, this fucking monstrosity is going to like, ugh, <laughs> oh god, shitty ass reception. Let's try it. Channel one. Oops. Off of the corner. Damn it. Channel two. Channel three. Channel four. Channel five. Channel six. Channel seven. Well, it gets absolutely nothing in here. So let's try outside. I doubt it's gonna work. Ari, how much do you wanna bet it's not gonna get anything? Uh, what, no weather radio? Uh, outside, yeah. How much do you wanna bet it's not gonna get anything? Yeah, the right source, I know it's didn't pass. Well, we shall see. Here goes nothing. The 3000 is going to get its money's worth or it's going to get its money's back. So, yeah, the reception is absolutely wacko, and it's fucking terrible. Plus, I can barely see the display on battery power. Like, damn. So, yeah, that covers it. It's fucking cold. I gotta go back. Which do you think happened? Did it get stations or not? Given the fact <sighs> that you sound a little bit frustrated, I'm gonna guess that it didn't get jack shit. You'd be fucking right. The reception is god awful. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the reception is worse than the reception on the Midland 1392B. It is. It is. It is. It's fucking awful. 
Which leads us to the next feature that we are currently reviewing. So, why don't we just go ahead and get into that. And that is the AM FM capabilities. As Ari issues a simple emergency message through her EasyCast, let's go ahead and test it out. Nothing. Louder for the people in the back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It doesn't get shit. Thank you. But it doesn't get anything. Let's just go ahead and set it back to FM. It is clearly evident. It is clearly evident that the CKW3000 has a lot less capabilities than I thought it would have. There's the speaker right there. Oh my god. This thing is good. Okay then. What did we learn today? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. The AM FM capability on the Emerson Research CKW3000 is incredibly limited. As it has just been seen. Oh, Needed to be mentioned that it is very picky with especially since it's analog tuning, it's very picky where you have it. If you don't have it in the right spot, it's not gonna receive the signal. Yep. Digital tuning. <laughs> didn't exist. Analog tuning, you gotta fucking love it. And on that note, why don't we get into another flaw with the Emerson? And that is... We already discussed this in one of the previous features, but... This is so ridiculous. Why the fuck does it need... Why? Why in the fucking hell does it need... Two different types of batteries, despite both of them having different purposes to power the fucking radio and the clock. Is this necessary? Oh. 
Ari, it's not necessary. Yes, it is. It's Emerson. Well, yeah, and Emerson's... No, it's not necessary. They could not tie in the 9-volt battery to the clock unit. Maybe that's why the fucking screen is not working properly. Because it's on battery power. Maybe that's why it's not showing up that well, even though it's fucking plugged in. Okay, so, no. No matter if it's plugged in or not with the green backlight, it's still very shitty. But why does it need two different types of batteries just to power on the radio and the clock? Couldn't they just tie the clock and the radio's power straight to the 9-volt, saving you money instead of having to have you buy, hey, let's be greedy and require them to fucking put triple A's in there as well, huh? <clears throat> Why don't we do that shit? Is that going to work? Is that going to work, Johnny? Let's see if that works. Oh, yeah. The battery drains. Even if you leave, even if you put the battery in there and you have it plugged into AC power, the battery drains. So the marketing campaign of, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a weather radio that will alert you even if the AC power's out? Yeah, well, hey, good fucking luck whenever the, the fucking power drains because uh, the, the, the radio was already draining the battery to begin with. Dumbasses. Dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> Imagine having this radio as your only radio. That would be sad. I'd rather have the right still. This is why I said it's a piece of garbage. Now you see why. The reception is terrible too. Nicholas, what are you doing? I am trying to I'm trying to create somebody. That just sounds so wrong in so many it ways. Does. Oh my god. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's about, he's trying to create somebody, which means he's trying to give birth to a child, which means he's to have sex. That, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a horny son of a bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> Am I wrong? Let's, let's be bad. There's a thing called Gary's Mod, dude. If X was bad, he wouldn't exist. <laughs> That's true. The rave reviews brought to you by browsers. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Get 50% off. Get 50% off your, your browser's membership by typing in the, the coupon code Radio Reviews when you go to check out. And it says, this is why I'm not wearing headphones, because I don't want my ears blown out, and not in a good way. Wait, what? <laughs> have a fetish for that? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. Ask the people who have a fetish. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> True. Yeah, you like to have his ears blown up by his <laughs> No, he just <laughs> Anyway. Um, is but like yeah, the, the but yeah, the Emerson Research CKW 3000 is a fucking piece of garbage, and we're going to get further into that claim by discussing the build quality. Okay, the build quality on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. Why in the name of God is this thing still working? How in the name of God is this thing still working? I don't get it. Because, Ari, didn't you say that the battery contacts as well as the button contacts wear out from years of not being used as well as the display and everything? Doesn't the, doesn't the circuit, the, the circuitry inside these radios, don't they just completely fucking lose their energy when they're not used for a while? Yes. Can you please elaborate some more on that? You see, Emerson is shit, and uh, the way to design the radio allows for lots of moisture to build up and get inside of the radio. 
And believe me, I tested this because a long time ago I was showering and it was very eerie and it was dead silence. I was like, I need some music to help me shower. So I brought up the CKW 3000 and as I did, as I was in the shower listening to the FM band, I was, th I, I was taking a hot shower. So of course, you know, the heat and the water evaporates or whatever condenses onto the shit. Well, guess what? All of a sudden, the CKW 3000's tuner Oh, the FM tuner starts going wonky and it starts changing the pitch of the music. Oh, God. So you mean to tell me that because this radio was in the shower next to you, it started to slowly sound like Darth Vader? Kind of, but like... It, 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 uh, that's one of the suspicions I have why the, the button contacts shit themselves a lot. is because moisture and stuff gets into the air and gets into the radio and then it clogs up the button contacts but that's just a theory all radio all radio theory oh jesus oh my Christ. god but yeah not sponsored by matt or oh, yeah, please don't see also i should mention that the dimmer switch is here for the uh, display there's yeah, three yeah, yeah. guess what I was, I was trying to figure out what the hell the dimmer switch did. You want to know why? You want to know why I didn't know what it did? Why? Because my fucking CKW3000 doesn't have a goddamn backlight. <laughs> the backlight died on yours, too. Yep. The backlight died on my first EAR10. I, know, I don't mean to go a little bit off topic, but it's why I have three EAR10s right now, and they're both black, because one has That's a backlight crazy. that is completely, like, dead and then another one is starting to run pretty low on brightness dude yeah, that's, I, that's what mine I, is I've had, I've had my ear 10 for over a year and recently the the backlight just they said nope wow. i think i think my backlight is starting to go dead too on mine because it's just it's just getting less bright i think it's also i think the backlight is also dying slowly on my 996 I think it's probably because of the backlight being left on for long periods of time. There's no way there's no way to turn it off completely though. It only has low power dimming. I was kind of referring to the other radios, but you yeah. do have a point. EAR10, if you leave it off cuz my 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 backlight on my EAR10 it went dead. And so I was like, "All right, I have an idea on how to resurrect it." So I turned off the backlight, light, backlight entirely and set it to auto mode so it only goes off whenever, you know, there's an alert or I press a button on it. Well, every time, one, if I, after like a several hours of it just being off, right, I push a button, it lights up and it flickers. And then eventually... Yeah. Mine does that too. Mine did that for the longest time as well. And then, and then it was like that for at, at least like four to five months until it was completely destroyed the backlight that is not the radio itself thank god just unbelievable man also i should yeah. mention that one of the buttons i should mention that the tuning knob for the ckw 3000 and it's now january 2nd but i should mention that the tuning knob on this thing actually gave me a little bit of resistance yeah. Like, it gave me some resistance when I was using it, you know, for the analog tuning. Because this, this knob controls the analog tuning. Oh, I see who you're trying to create, Nicholas. But the thing is, when you keep, when you go to the, when you go to the far right, it just keeps going. The knob just keeps going. But yeah, analog tuning, you gotta fucking love it. But it's hard to reach and access properly, you know, but yeah. Let's discuss more things about the, the build quality, shall we? So we have whatever this is down here. You have your indoor thermometer, I think. Yeah, indoor thermometer, it can be set. I know we didn't include that as a feature, but we kind of already did for the entire display. Anyway, so yeah, your weather alert light is down here. All of your buttons are located on the left of the radio. On the top. You just have your switch for the AM FM radio, as well as the alarm. This.
big ass snooze button is right here. Just sitting there. On the sides, you have your switches, which actually stand up pretty well. And on the back, you just have your battery cover and literally nothing there except literally just the label. That's it. And then there's your battery. There's your battery diagram. And then right here, the antenna and the power adapter are actually hardwired into the radio. Like, bruh, really? Really? You really? suck, Emerson. Yeah. Are you serious, bro? Yeah, okay. it's literally hardwired into the back of the radio. You can't unplug it if you wanted to. That's it's, it's, look, it's, ball. look, it's stuck there. It's stuck. I'm literally making it hang by a fucking thread. God damn, this thing is so bulky. It's like a fucking television. And you guys wonder why I hated this thing. Now you see the reason why. Yo, 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 yo. You know what you could do? You could, uh, you, you could pick up an uh, IBM machine. And it looks like a motherfucking CRT monitor. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, you see, you see why I hate this thing now. Do you see why? Do you? Yes, but that, but... But now that you reviewed it, you think that one of your own. No, fuck that shit. <laughs> I am not getting a 3000. There's no way I'm getting a 3000. Who says that? Yes, now? you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, you said that. Yeah, you were saying that about the fucking, uh, what was it? So you can't even remember, probably because it never happened. Oh, no, 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 no. It's happened Michael. before. It, hang on, Ari, hang on, Ari. If it's about the black and silver, that's a different story. Well, you, well, keep in mind, you're, you legit passed up a white version one because it wasn't a black and silver. And because I was fucking broke. Okay, the broke part I can understand, but I remember you saying, I don't want a white version one, I want a black and silver version one. Yeah, I did say that. But looking back, I regret like, saying that. No but I just basically said that because I was broke and I couldn't afford it. Then again, I Either can... way, you know, Michael, you, you will consume the CKW 3000 because if not, on yeah, I'm, I'm already radio review. I transmit on WNG 538. Yeah, well, well, I mean, you can go ahead. Nine, one, one. Oh, God, no, <laughs> no. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> the build quality on the Emerson Research CKW 3000 is um, decent, I guess. But it does have that that fatal flaw where moisture will get inside the radio and just basically destroy it slowly. Yikes. So yeah, the build quality on it is decent because it works, but the other half is pretty bad. So yeah, it's basically in between. And with that, let's get to the final thoughts. Okay, the final thoughts on the Emerson Research CKW 3000. Being that this is the predecessor to the 2000, the numbers should have honestly been reversed. Because this is literally, this should have been the 2000. And the 2000 should have been the 3000, honestly. Because this literally has less features than the 2000. And if you want to see that review, there's a link in the description. So, yeah. Just so you can compare it. But, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Research CKW3000 is one of those radios that is pretty promising at first, but it has all of those flaws that just ruin the value of it entirely. It keeps draining the batteries even when plugged in on AC power. The displays are known to have dead backlights, even though this, this one miraculously still works. The buttons are known to get damaged from how flimsy they feel. The top button right here, this is known to cause defects. The speakers are also known for going out. The whole radio itself is dying internally because of the moisture that is prone 
to being sucked in by these things, probably from all these fucking vents and shit, these volume knobs and tuning knobs on the sides, along with the dimmer switch and the AM FM switch, aren't exactly that good either. Same thing with the weather band switch. The fact that it is hardwired into the actual radio is just terrible and inconvenient, which means you gotta carry this thing around portably in your house if the power goes out, and you just have to fucking carry the power adapter with you, which, by the way, is a massive, massive brick of an adapter right here. How inconvenient is that? You can literally knock things over with this thing if you're not careful. But yeah, the antenna is absolute garbage, despite being a pigtail antenna, because it gets shitty ass reception. It is so god awfully bad. This is exactly why I hated the CKW 3000 from the start. It not only looked ugly, and I thought it was a decent radio even from just looking at it firsthand. But now that I've seen an in-depth review of it, now that I've done this, just wow i'm lost for words this thing is garbage it does have some use to this day it does have some use at least <coughs> <coughs> my throat's pretty itchy but yeah coronavirus anyways um yeah here's the point this radio could have been so much better it could have been so much better. But the fact of the matter is, this radio has so much flaws. It is literally almost unusable at times. And it's a damn shame because Emerson actually put effort into this radio for it to have the best top of the line features. And it all went to utter shit. If you want to buy one of these, I would not. Because half the times, half of the time, these radios don't even work. Mitchell's last one died along with Ari's not being, you know, a fully working unit until she powered it on. And I don't even know what the condition of it is now. I guess it's still working. But yeah, this radio could have been a lot more better if it wasn't for the shitty components they used as well as the proprietary bullshit that they implemented into it. And that just made it a terribly inconvenient radio. It is a damn shame. And with that, we are finally done with this monstrosity of an episode. So thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for future videos like this also be sure to subscribe to monty cat 33 along with the siren geek for allowing me to hold their radios for a temporary period of time also be sure to subscribe to derpy fire alarms chaos mocks eas test fan 25 norcat dude 599 thunder buddy 01 norfolk southern storm and spc ashland 9467 so guys this is clay ranger 143 finally signing out along with the following follow the sequence this is no river radio wxk 49 in memphis the current time is 10 p.m central standard time no it's not Special weather statement from the National Weather Service. Yes, you know what I'm about to do. Equals, 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 equals. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a derby fire alarms. <laughs> I guess I'll just go next to uh, Chaos Box. Stay chaotic, you crazy. Yeah, it says Ben 25. You all know that it's the OG. Norfolk Southern Star. And SPC Ashland 9467. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Hey, Drew, the last Nicholas. Drew barely even talked. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Anyways, uh.
Anyways, uh, found her body 01, and, uh, fuck you, Ari. I see that meme you posted in the goddamn shack. Oh, wait, what, what is it? <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, let me see. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, and then look what Drew put after that. Z cool, Z cool, Z cool, Z C 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 cool, Z 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 <laughs> uh, I don't. Ohio State Buckeyes are heading to the championship. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> 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 oh shit. We're going. We're going to go up against uh, Alabama. Sweet okay, home Alabama. Well, I hope Alabama kicks their ass. I mean, what? Sweet home Alabama. We're going to beat Alabama. Let's do this. No, they're not. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. No, you're not. They're gonna fucking beat their meat to their cousins in Ohio. So they're probably gonna beat Ohio. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 <Yikes. That's perfect. laughs> Zion's face is fucking amazing. Oh no. Oh no. Just leave it. Uh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> oh, Alright. Had a close that was a good close up. So we will see you guys next week in radio reviews. Keep staying devious, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Finally we are done with this thing.